now beaming into Nerd FT Radio. This is Nerd FT Radio, where nerds full time, explorers of the metaverse, surfers of the blockchain, and not in our mom's basement. I'm your host, RSG, AK Dookie Dash 200K Club oh, member. Oh, oh. And I'm here with Crypto Crier, <laughs> AK the Proceed with Caution Maxi. Crier, you killed it. <laughs> oh, yeah, baby. A little nice little, little 10 x This is the. We've had multiple 10 X's the last two weeks. We're listen, you're like a few months back, yeah. like the last like two months, I was crushing it. And then out of nowhere, Cryer. dude, you just put the guard down. You put the guards completely down and you said screw yeah, see, it. See. And you're getting it on the open yeah. editions, the derivatives, like all these things, and you're crushing it. Props to you. Thank you, sir. So can you th- wait before before yeah. we get into the topics because we have a very doodly episode today with a little bit of zombies at like the it. end and some dookie in the middle <laughs> as well. But before we get into it, <laughs> before we get into it, Cryer, explain to me why the, the project that you bought into went up and up. my <laughs> dumbass <laughs> buys ghost which you think can well, do hey, ghost on down. i feel like i didn't buy any of those but i thought those those were gonna do well yeah yeah they didn't what, what happened what the heck happened? <laughs> i don't know the reason i got the, oh, uh, all right next topic <laughs> no, oh, sorry. the reason i got on this one was shout out to just a dude he showed me them and they were he was a part of the sotheby's collection so i thought he's a pretty big artist in the space not like hugely popular but i thought they looked really good the there's a collection itself looked really good um, they were 0. 0.06, but it was only 15 minutes, so you didn't get a lot of a little, lot of chance to pick one up, and end up being 8,400 something like that. But yeah, so quite a bit of them, and now he's turned it into a collection of eight different colors, and so there's 10,050 per collection. And he's saying that the whole thing is going to be based on sets. So pretty much all these open mechanics, if you get one that gets a lot of volume traction, if it has some sort of burn mechanism like checks did and how this one kind of has that mechanics of volumes there, people have eyeballs on it and now they have to burn something to get <laughs> the further, the next step in them. I think that's the what kind of is the key to look for. Okay, okay. Well, hey, listen, that sounds not complicated, but well thought out. <laughs> something's coming things are happening and on my side i got the artist that came out and said hey thank you so much let's just soak in the excitement yeah yeah, i'm sorry listen shout out to the artists in the world the nft projects all these awesome things don't get me wrong ghost art is unbelievable but the tweeting side we got to work on We got to work on the tweeting side. All right, but enough of that. Let's go into the topics that we have today. Like I said, we have a very doodly, doodly doodles podcast today because doodles too. Yeah, it's pretty much everything going on with doodles. Let's go ahead and start with the company that they acquired, number one. And then number two, we'll go into doodles too, which is they finally found a home for doodles too. So let's go into the first one. Doodles has officially acquired an animation studio. The animation studio is called Golden Wolf, if I'm not mistaken. And they've done animations for Rick and Morty, Disney, Nike a bunch of people all over the place and not only that they're emmy nominated like an emmy an actual emmy nominated studio so doodles said hey listen we're going all out there's been some rumors of this happening as well and pretty much what they stated was this is going to be the next level for the long form content gaming in real life experience and a lot more so crier how are you taking this news on the animation studio animation studio side i am Ultra pumped. I think that's such a cool pickup. They did their animation for the Doodles 2 media was really cool. Like the release video and the teaser and the trailer. I thought it was really interesting. That didn't look a job. And it's like a big name there. And this, what they said is they're going to go and focus on other collections too. They're still going to be like a production studio, an animation studio. And they're going to focus on Web3 stuff. So I think that's a really cool pickup for sure. That brings another revenue arm for them. As a company on the whole, yeah, I think that was a, a massive move. They said they didn't really have a, they had a AMA today with NFT Now. And they said on there that they didn't really have like a storyline to take people on a journey on Instagram, which I thought that's why they haven't really posted anything like that. And they 
go okay. with the route of now they have an animation studio. They're going to try to bring the story and lore through these types of like short video contents. And it sound like they're going to be releasing it through Instagram. Could be pretty interesting on that side for sure. Yeah, absolutely. And listen, as much FUD, as low of a floor as this project I'm about to mention, Cool Man Universe, on the side of Instagram and creating that short form content of creating a storyline that goes from video to video, and on YouTube as we're on the long form side, that is something I truly believe that a lot of projects need to look into, unfortunately for them on 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 the cool man side, all the rest hasn't been yeah. the best. It's the opposite. <laughs> yeah. So I wish they would just collide yeah. a little bit on merge that those two, cool and man then it would be. Little... I think it would have been done really well. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. As as well as a lot of projects. If, if it's gutter, if it's cool yeah. cats, if it's dead fellas, if it's I'm just naming all my bags. <laughs> yeah, so bad. the whole bag I have. So anyone like that, please just watch those videos and start creating some more on that side. But again, abs- I absolutely agree with you, Crier. I believe this move was. like incredible the funny thing is for the fans of golden wolf prior to nfts prior to the doodle acquisition if you went into the comments they were fucking pissed they were absolutely pissed out they're going the nft web 3 route how could you sell out oh my god all this stuff so again still the same thing we saw that with with what's the project it was national no what was it National Geographic, National yeah, Geographic. same thing yeah, yeah. on that side. National Geographic and the backlash that they got from the other crowd, the majority crowd. Let's go ahead and talk, say it like that. But and again, awesome news! Shout out to the Doodles for going ahead and doing that. And now the team is a little bit bigger, and it's going to be interesting. Again, that short form content, just like us at NRN, is crucial now. And now that's hopefully going to allow us at Nerd FT Radio, at NRN, at Sit Down with Sniper, at all our spaces, all these things that have just more rich content to talk about and to speculate sure. and to just allow people to understand what the heck's going on. Now, on the flip side, we have more news that obviously it's leading to the, they did yeah. the first step, which is the animated studio. Now the second step is they have officially found a home for doodles too and it's no other than flow crier on a scale one to ten them picking flow where do you rank it like a four five (laughs) where's nate soundboard (laughs) 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 crier explain to me before we i want before you explain like why you feel that way and all that let's talk a little bit about what's going on so flow for the individuals that might not know what the heck a flow blockchain is the same blockchain that brought us nba top shot nfl all day they were the ones and i will attest to it because i was one of them that brought in a literally start i'm gonna say this started the bull run of 2021 in nfts it funneled so many people into nba top shot which then led into board ape gutter cool cats and all these and doodles like any project you can think of and i really believe on that side i would be some i would be pretty bullish on that and because when you we talked a little bit about this prior to the episode crier on the side of nba top shot the i had two options when i got into nfts for my friend he said listen you got the easy way, which is NBA Top Shot, or you got the hard way, and you need to learn how to create a MetaMask, how to use a MetaMask, what the heck ETH is, how to make transactions. And me being the smart individual I am, I went the easy route and probably faded generational wealth. But on the side, now I can talk about it. <laughs> it was the easier route, less transaction. It feels more Web two like when you're well, there's UX, no learning curve. like that. There's no learning curve, so it feels like you're just doing something that you're already used to. So on that side, I think that's the great ap- approach that Doodles and Doodles 2 were going into. And that's why this, for me, I would at least give it a 7 out of 10. Obviously, Polygon might have been a better route or something else. But yeah. on that side, a lot of people are upset saying, oh, Top Shot's awful. How could they do this? How could they do that? But listen, Top Shot, yeah, sure, flow is the same company and everything of Top Shot, Dapper Labs, the whole nine. But this is Doodles coming to Flow. It's not Dapper Labs saying, hey, we're going to take everything and do it for you guys. No, no. Doodles is just going to use their blockchain, which is something different. It's like saying because a project's on e- or on Solana, they su- actually hold up. Yeah, hold up. That I don't know if we can 
Solana just sucks. Never mind. I'm not going to use Solana <laughs> on that case. But let's just put it this way: Doodle still has control over the IP, the sure. brand, every the mechanics, everything, and they're just using that platform. What happened with DFK, where they were using Harmony? It wasn't. Uh, yep, I can't I would, use that either. Uh, that's a terrible. Maybe maybe Doodles should make their own blockchain. Yeah, All right, keep it going. Yeah, right, let me that. hear. Let that's me hear what your I'd side. Rather them do that. Let me hear your side. Let's hear. It. What would you call if you were Doodles? What would you call your blockchain? I would just make an Avex a- Avax subnet and just like DFK did, and have a Doodles network. Like they just. That okay. was the a choice that made it a very easy. They can have their own wallet. Go, go off, I mean, King it's just, Cryer. Just, go I off. Let's hear. Like it. Let's, like, hear. Let's hear. Like, Let's hear. I understand it's crazy easy to onboard people that way, but if it's just I, me personally, I just think it's like taking like an easier approach. Let them do that type of stuff while you have the product where they could have done. Let me, let me the ask you something. Side, like they could have had their own something. platform. You're absolutely right. You're absolutely right. Mm-hmm. Let me ask you something. Being on Flow. So many users using NBA Top Shot. So many users using NFL All Day. By the way, there's more users on NFL All Day than NBA Top Shot right now. That's good. And if NFL All Day like went ham, and I have assets like a few, yeah, I have a couple of those. and I just haven't checked, but like, it's crazy good right now. So imagine the advertisement on those sites to get a free doodles obviously when you're in that ecosystem you know about the nfts that instead of going towards yeah, the yeah. nfts you stayed you on, heard about them you or, stayed yeah. here but they know about it so imagine the advertising is hey listen you have assets here you're going to be able to get a free yeah. doodles wait what a free doodles so maybe that's a good route but what, what do you think i think as a company choice I can see 100% why they did it. I think, again, we don't know the specifics of the deal of what they worked out. I'm sure they, he said personally, Poopy said that they turned down other offers that were of just money. Like they, like people to come onto their Matic. Yeah, exactly. Like Matic, Matic has pretty much, they got, they threw threw the money. money Yeah. They threw the money over at Frankie got some of that. That is the people are definitely vying for your, if you're a big brand on NFTs, they're vying for you to come to their chain. Like they want that volume. They want to be seen as stronger. It's a huge win for flow. I definitely think so because there's definitely value there, but it's just not the value that I aligns with my values. That's my mix. That's the chain that Ticketmaster chose to use. That's like, what about ticket? That's the Ticketmaster choice. What do you think that, why would you choose something that also Ticketmaster chose? It's crazy centralized. It's crazy what if, walled what if, garden. They, what if Ticketmaster they picked They're still going to do the same thing. I think it would be a different, I did, I Polygon or something like that. I think it would be a different choice. What do you mean? What do you mean by why did they chose that one? What if, what if Ticketmaster picked ETH, pick ETH and would all ETH projects have, I know, but That's what if the they point. picked ETH and would all the projects have to jump from what's going on? No, what I'm mean? saying like you're using the one that the, like a crazy, terrible company that has abusive powers and uh, abuses the users already. That's the chain that they chose to operate on. Listen, I just got an email from <laughs> NFL all day and I'm going to receive doodle emails very soon. So it's going to be very boomer and very web too. It's a great choice. Good job, doodles team. I'm kidding, but I do see what you're saying. The choice obviously wasn't my in the top three for me, honestly. Yeah. And this is just a way where I can get behind what you said. It's the easy route. They took the route that they believe the short term could be very successful, but are they thinking? 10 years ahead when people are more knowledgeable on the blockchain and they see the flaws behind flow, the companies that are on flow and what Dapper Labs has done the whole nine that could be in the long term, a bad thing for them. But short term, I really do believe that it will allow them to onboard the masses, a lot more people that if they were to pick an avalanche, a, and any other blockchain, whatever you want to go ahead and use. So that's what, how I think of it. Yeah, I can definitely, I get, I see like it was a good move for the company. I just, me personally don't really care for the choice. So he, us at nerd FT radio have one thing and one thing only to say, fuck flow. <laughs> that's all it, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Don't flow. If you want to sponsor the podcast, let me know this. It could be brought to you by flow. And then crier is going to have to turn around and we get some merchandise on it. Maybe something behind him. Yeah. Who knows what happens there, but what else do you got for the doodles? Are you exci- I'm excited? I'm excited about me, to stay away. Yeah. Let's get away from flow a little bit. You saw those videos. Yeah. It looks really super the, awesome. The yeah. traits. If no, they execute it really well, not. I listened to the whole thing on their, on the NFT. Now they did, they broke it down really well. They said that the reason that they're choosing this was because 
It was uh, the storage like usage of the chain is a little bit different. So they like a wallet has a certain amount of storage and like it's more about the individual traits being able to in real time see them leave and exit the actual doodles too, like the inventory of the doodles too. So if you sold the doodles while it's wearing the clothing, it would, it would be transferred with it. It was more of a nested okay. architecture. So that was cool. They said it was something similar to the Ethereum 998, I believe, or something like that. It's, you know, like we have 721s. Yeah, we have the different proposed use cases or protocols or whatever. NFTs yeah, yeah, yeah. or ERC20s. This was another one that has like a nested function or inventory function like in the actual okay. code, right? They said that was like why they chose that. And then agreed to obviously their past partnerships and working with them and stuff like that. So they're comfortable with the team and stuff like that. So... Again, for the for on the company side, I see why they chose these things, but yeah, I think it's overall. I the animations were super cool. I've, I'm excited about the traits. I think they look interesting. I think the whole proposition of bringing in digital identity as a thing, hopefully partnership. I saw Instagram say something about having animated avatars. Flow is partnered with Instagram yeah. as well. So. Did you see that one today? It was like today they announced that. I did yeah, not. So see earlier, that. like this morning, on Instagram that, said boy. that they're going to be having like the ability to swiping on your profile picture on Instagram will allow you to switch to like an animated avatar. If that's okay. something where okay. that would be, I don't think the users of Flow is where the value is. I think something like that using your avatar on Instagram would be a lot more valuable. I believe that. The advantage of Flow is definitely, the, like you said, the use case that it's going to be able to be on Instagram. It's not going to feel like an NFT, like an Ethereum transaction. Yeah. Like You won't know any of that. Like you have happening. to get the MetaMask. You have to do this. You have to do that. You won't know exactly. You won't know any of that. And that is the advantage, again, on the short term. Long term, let's see what happens. Maybe Flow brings it back. Who knows? Maybe around a little bit. So we'll see how they do it. Listen, I'll personally say like Doodles, for, to, for me... From all the live events to what they've brought to the art to the team they haven't once like completely failed me other than just not tweeting a lot but listen <laughs> listen like I, I know a lot of people that don't tweet a lot and <laughs> it is what it is go look at like microsoft's <laughs> twitter or go look at like another one like they're not tweeting that much either so what's going on why is everybody so upset you want them to tweet every single day i don't know but uh, but yeah man again i'm super excited those traits look incredible crier there's one two, three, four, five, six days left in January. Duplicators? Said 31st, last day. Okay. That's what they said. That's what they said. Yeah, they said today. Okay. All right. Here we go. (laughs) In six days, six days, we will see it. By the way, Doodles 2, that in February. So what do you do? What do you do? And the only way with my duplicator? How many do you have? One? Uh, I have two. Two dupes. I have a common and a very common. Nice. I'm going to definitely duplicate my Viking and get some hollow beard action, some Viking helmet, some nice little fur jacket. And we're going to hopeful, we're going to try to see what is under the under the under the doodle because i don't know how my legs look like so and my shoes so hopefully i got something great i feel like my doodle has some good swag so hopefully he he knows how to dress the par or hopefully i'm not butt naked yeah, i'm torn right i have uh, so i have but, i have um, three i have a two commons i have one of each so one okay you have a rare, rare? common and very common so Okay, so we'll, we'll, see. We'll, we'll see. see. I will listen. We're not I'll put it this way. You and I are both not going to be the first people to duplicate. <laughs> we're obviously going to allow the guinea pigs to oh, go yeah. first and then we're going to make a, an executive decision <laughs> afterwards. Yeah. So shout out Keep to the, the guinea dupe, pigs the dupe unused. Is that a valuable thing or versus But we'll find out. At least use one. I'm definitely using one. But again, let's see if it comes on the 31st and then on the side of February, those beta keys are only going to be for those duplicators, individuals that have the duplicators and individuals that have have the genesis box if you are an og doodle and you only have an og doodle you're getting nothing except holding a doodle worth 80 so if you're <laughs> complaining just sell it or if you don't want it i'll take it so maybe you should be grateful for what you have because there's a lot of there's actually if there's a hundred thousand people in the space there's less than ten thousand people that have a doodle so maybe be a little more grateful <laughs> that's all i gotta say 
All right. What else we got? We got one thing before. Listen, the one thing I'm excited about talking with you, Cryer, is The Last of Us. So we're going to just wrap up this little segment I got. I'm going to call it the Dookie Dash, and we're going to dash straight straight through it. All I'm going to say is this game is great. I'm at 200K. There is so many tactics that you need to look into and play from using the boost at items at the beginning, going through wood as quickly as possible. And at the end, you just got to start dodging like you're a freaking drone pilot. That's all I got. And of course, if you do have a sewer pass, you got to get some ape and you got to get the boost. But I will only suggest you getting the boost if you're averaging at least from a tier one, at least I would say 70,000 or more. And if you have a tier four, you got to average at least 150K until you start boosting for that two ape, which is 10 bucks, 12 bucks for only 10 minutes. So that, that's my little tips that I would give on the side of me streaming. And by the way, I am streaming. It's Red Sox guy on Twitch. I'm always streaming. I'm always streaming. But you know what? When I get that 200, when I'm getting that 200K, I'm not streaming because I have stage fright. So I only do that on the... When Silence. I'm by myself. One piece in the, the background. Silence. All right. That's enough of the dookiness. Yeah. Crier. Let's nerd out. The Last of Us is incredible. Unfucking believable. It was done super well. What an incredible show. They took it ex- literally from the comic to the show so perfectly and then this is where the kicker is they added they added stuff and it's even better than the game like the little things that they're adding and we've never seen that before it's always oh why'd they add that please add more whatever you're doing do it more this they were they were closely working with the game studio on it and the creators of the last of us and 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 what's up oh yeah they're the creators of Chernobyl. yeah yeah yeah. so they they, they're yeah yeah Yeah. so that's their background Another incredible show, one of my favorite shows of, that's one of my favorite like documentary type style shows. It's done really well. But yeah, on the side of, they're working really tightly with the creators of Last of Us. So they had a ton of just um, really good input on the side of, they and I, they had a lot of speak, I think his name was Brian is the creator, but they he had a ton of praise to the team for creating the whole underground network of for the for the how the actual fungus works and stuff like that a lot of the backstory and just like really oh, deep yeah. into the creation of the show that they he was very happy with they did a lot of just the cosmetics and stuff like that were done extremely well yeah i was just it, the clickers yeah, they, good yeah, really interesting stuff felt just Yo. like how the game felt it's so cool like it and that was done super well on that side yeah again there were some small changes but like for the plus, I would say there's a lot of changes that I just play really well into the, you know, just this background of the, the story. Yeah, the story was done so well, and the acting has been yeah, very absolutely. Good too. I would definitely suggest going on YouTube or Instagram, Twitter. Like the they put like a side by side of the video game and the yeah. show, and like just that perfect. Just they like, take like the, just yeah. the perfect lines, the scenes, the airplane scene in the first episode. Nuts. <laughs> boy when that shit went down i was like what did i just watch unbelievable stuff right now we're through episode one now we're going to episode two episode three is coming on sunday this show is every sunday 9 p.m eastern this is literally you know I mean? just Toler? like game of thrones be- there's going to be a nine, nine episodes. episodes, and we're going to see a. I think we're going to see a lot of seasons. Yeah, so definitely. we're good. They hit home on this. Remember, there's The Last of Us too as well. So they're obviously not going to go through they're the full a... game in the first season. Yeah. They're going to go a long time, probably four or five seasons. Then they can just go to Last of Us two. <laughs> and a lot of people got backlash on Last of Us two. Guess what? They can change the storyline, and you idiots can stop complaining. So there's a lot. Of really cool stuff that they are able to do this is unfortunate i'm about to say something that's going to upset me but i actually i think i said this like a few episodes ago this is what hbo was looking for in westworld for you and me crier we got that but for the rest yeah. of the world doesn't seem like they got it now they officially got it's something got the that's zombies not Game check of Thrones, it's got the good storyline everyone likes zombies apparently oh, yeah. so yeah they dude i love zombies <laughs> oh I and I just zombies. like change, like the, the fungus. Like that's such a cool it. aspect for me. Unbelievable. And the intro for that yeah, episode was just nuts too. Like, man, 
<laughs> I'm so happy. I'm so happy. It's so much yeah. fun. I can't wait to see it. I'm a, very, I'm a big person like having a show that's a weekly type thing because it make it allows me to look f- like it's like yeah. football. I love football on Sunday because I know I can on Sunday. I'm not going to do anything but watch football. I know every Sunday, 9 p.m., I'm watching this show. That is something I look forward to. So it's something good. I know I have some friends that are like, oh. I only watch it when it's the first full season's yeah. over. I'm, I'm I usually do. Right. Big, I'm a big like I I prefer to. I know you. Crier, yeah. Crier behind me is literally episode six hundred and nine. <laughs> Trust me when I tell you, I love binging shows. I'm watching the most bingeable show, which is One Piece. But there's something about having a show saying, yeah. like once a week, and you just get that feel. Like, oh a, shit, my show's Legion on, yeah, and Legion you're going. Was really good for that. One. Yes, the yeah, Marvel one. I love that show. <laughs> we looks like we know what we're going to talk about next time all right that pretty much wraps it up for us again thank you so much for stopping by another episode of nerd ft radio oh, wait, and wait, not wait, wait, catch wait, wait, wait. you on happy birthday to this young man right here thank you thank you my birthday was on january 24th i am now legal to drink <laughs> i'm kidding i'm now 27 years old i'm being told when you hit 27 now it's just about what like were you complaining about your back right was hurting or something Dude, my bat, my shoulder, I slept on my shoulder on the 23rd. I woke up on the 24th feeling like an old man. So yeah. I guess, it, yeah, it's happening. It's happening. Yeah. Falling this apart. Is, this is a downfall. But yeah. Happy birthday, man. Very Thanks excited so much, to buddy. have a bunch more with you. I'm this fantastic podcast. Absolutely. Yeah. Going. Hell yeah. Hell yeah. And again, for all the viewers, thank you so much. We will not have an episode coming up on Monday. Cryer is going to be a Florida Cryer. Right. He's going to be with some family, but we'll be back on the following. Maybe I'll stream on Sunday or Monday yeah. instead to compensate right. for everything like that. But we'll catch you guys later. Have a good rest of your day. Peace. Peace.